queen. Sorry, I sound a little nasally. I've got a little sniffle going on. Um, I wanted to do a video today on criticism, in particular, criticism on the carnivore diet that I have gotten. Um, I get criticized a lot in my life. I've been criticized on the career choices I've made, on uh, my goals, on my dreams, things that I would like to achieve. Uh, people shoot them down. People say, you can't do that. Uh, I get criticized by some of my lifestyle choices. I'm very frugal and I'm not a hyper consumer and so I, I get criticized for that by some people. Uh, a lot of the criticism that I've received about my diet actually come from the people closest to me. So my family and my very close friends. And it's really hard to respond in a way that is respectful, um, but also I need to put my point across to them that I am trying to live my best life. I am trying to be the best version of myself. Um, so what's crazy is nobody said anything to me or criticized me when I was eating pancakes for breakfast and a Panera bread bowl with broccoli cheddar soup plus the baguette uh, and a sandwich for lunch. Yeah, uh, I, I don't even know how many carbs, it, probably like 500 carbs. Panera was like my kryptonite. Um, and then I'd eat like grilled cheese or pizza for dinner. So pretty much, you know, uh, the worst of the worst for me, for my body. Nobody batted an eye. Nobody criticized me. Nobody said anything to me. It was just like, yeah, that's what people eat, right? Um, so I wanted to talk about when someone criticizes you over some sort of a decision you have made, um, a way you live your life, whatever, you know, choices you've made, in your career or um, I don't know maybe you've gone on keto diet and you're getting all kinds of criticism for it all you can what you can do is you can simply say thank you for your opinion but I'm trying to be the best version of myself and nobody can really argue with that I mean you know you, you don't want to be like everybody else you want to be the best version of yourself for me to be the best version of myself and to feel good, I do the carnivore diet. Um, I have gotten some really hurtful criticism. Some of the things are, let's see, well that can't be healthy. Oh God, your cholesterol is going to be through the roof. Uh, are you sure you don't have an eating disorder? Um, what else? Are you still trying to lose weight? You need to stop. You look emaciated. You need to stop right there. You, you've lost too much. Um, and then I've gotten the, well, what exactly do you eat? And that was, uh, you know, from some of my closest friends and family members. So, I... In the beginning, when I was doing this diet, I, I would say I got a lot more criticism than I do now. I feel like now people are starting to say, tell me your secret. What are you doing? And I'm like, okay, I'll tell you what I'm doing. But at first, I mean, it was just like, whoa, you can't do that. That's not possible. You, you're unhealthy. You know, that's unhealthy. You cannot do that. Uh... I don't like being told no, and so I have that going for me. That has, that has actually helped me succeed at this. But um, when I started doing this diet and started to see major improvement with all of my ailments and weight loss, I felt like, oh my God, like I've cracked the code and I can... I can do this, and if I can do this, I can do other things that are really hard, because this was a really hard thing for me to 
break up with food, to let go of the pancakes and realize that my whole life was about food. And that's really sad because life is so much, it's about so much more than food. There's so many great things out there other than the five minutes of pleasure you get from eating, you know, donuts and drinking Coke. Um, anyway, this video was about criticism. And if anybody else out there is being criticized and um, you maybe need some advice on how to respond to a family member or friend, email me. I will try and help you out because I know what it feels like to not have the right words to say and then you go home and you think about it all night and then you think, I should have said this, this or this. Anyway, yeah, so crazy carnivore diet helped me go from size 16 to a size six and you can see it in my before and after pictures. Um, yeah. So let people criticize you all they want and just use it as, as fuel, fuel for your fire, because I know you're fired up. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and remember to count your carbs, but don't count your happiness. And make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.